very, Were very you, bitter. I, I just want to ask, like, did you read her book? No. Okay. Uh, but I'm I, sure you're aware of her version of the story was that he was heavily, she, she became complete, he had her completely secluded and watched and her every move was tracked. Like it was a real oppression that she felt. That was her, that is her point of view. That that was her experience. Yeah. Well, I, I certainly don't doubt she said all of those things and wrote them in her book because it's no different in her mind than the the story of how we wrote the song "All I Want for Christmas Is You." So when they divorced and everyone went their separate ways, I was still under contract uh, with Tommy and with Sony Music, so I couldn't just abandon that ship and run off into the sunset with Mariah. So she was very bitter about that. So she left all of us kind of like, uh, oh, I don't need you guys anymore. I'm on to my next love and my next romance and my next chapter of my musical career. Having said all that, we, you know, we never got back together again as yeah. songwriters, you know. There's two versions of how, you know, out there of how this song was written. There's Mariah's version and there's your version. Can you, I want to hear your version of how the yeah. song was written. At that time, we were both on the same exact page of how we wrote All I Want for Christmas is You. Um, there was never any alter, uh, ulterior or alternate story, alternate universe, alternate reality until probably 10 years ago, uh, which she started to sort of like hint at the fact that, oh, yeah, I wrote, I wrote that song when I was a little girl. Like, but why, why were you saying that for 12 or 13 or 15 years prior to that? So it just kind of sort of developed in her mind. But she doesn't play anything. She doesn't play keyboard or piano or she doesn't understand music. She doesn't know chord changes and uh, music theory or anything like that. She doesn't know a diminished chord from a minor seven chord to a major seven chord. I mean, all of the things that you need to know, uh, even if you don't know, at least you need to know how to play that. So, so to claim that she wrote a very complicated chord structured song with her finger on a Casio keyboard when she was a little girl, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a, tall tale. I mean, it's like, yeah, uh, it's a, it's a difficult song. So tell me, how was the song written? I mean, we were holed up in this beautiful home uh, that they were renting and it was in the summertime and there was a piano. I think maybe it was even like Ellen Mankin's house that they were renting for uh, the summer. And we were uh, tasked with the writing of three songs. We were going to do a Christmas album but we weren't going to write the whole Christmas album. We decided to write three originals for the Christmas album. And this is after we've written a uh, hundred songs already. So there's no question when she and I go into a room to write a song, it's because we've done it so, so many times. The three songs that we decided to do for this Christmas album that we were uh, about to start making were uh, one was a very nice, beautiful, romantic kind of a song which we ended up writing called Miss You Most at Christmas. Second song we, we decided to do was more of a religious sort of Jesus born on this day, it was called. And then the third song we decided to do was a fun, up-tempo, kind of a cool, you know, not like, like I said, non-denominational. It's just a very happy teetering on love, but more so on the Christmas, you know, mm -hmm. fireplace and reindeers click and Santa Claus and mistletoe and all the, you know, stereotypes. When, so when we're writing these three songs, it wasn't like, well, I, I'm only there for two because she already wrote the third when she was a little girl on a Casio keyboard with one finger. Uh, and she, she, would she be able to show, show it to me? Or I go ahead, play, play the chords, play one chord, you know? So it wasn't like that. It, it's an impossibility that she and I did not write a song that we are both credited with 50% each on. It's not like we're Lennon and McCartney. We had some kind of a written agreement that no matter if you write it or right. I write it, we're always going to beat the two of us. That's a no. great. That's a great point. Now, mind you, Mariah was the principal and main writing that she did was mel melody kind of help in the creation of the melodies, and I would be all of the music and the chords and everything. And she would do all of the lyrics as well. She would do all the lyrics. Yeah. So the writing of "All I Want for Christmas." is I started playing sort of a boogie-woogie kind of a rock 
boom, ba 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 boom. And it was in, in, in anyone who knows music, the bass, ba 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 ba. And the chord is, so I'm trying to go, and are you, are you writing it on an actual keyboard or? 